Hey guys, what's up? It's Paddy here, and um, today I'm going to be doing the second edition to our new After Effects intro tutorial series. And today we're going to be focusing on these two shapes, as you can see on the screen right now. We've got a little um, kind of star shape. It's kind of it looks a bit like a, a badge, if that makes sense. And we've got the dashed line around the outside, which is um, really simple to make, and they both only take about 30 seconds each. But before we jump into the tutorial, before I start teaching you guys anything, I just wanted to say if you guys do want anything and you do want to learn anything, don't forget to comment or link me. And if you don't want anyone to see, say if it's really simple and say if you guys think it's it's a bit simple for a tutorial, you can always PM me. I've, I, I did get a few of those and people said they didn't want a tutorial on it, so I taught them over Skype. So either way, I'll uh, I'll be happy to help out. But if you guys want anything, don't forget to comment. And um, it, it, put it this way, the, the more comments I get, um, the more videos I can make, and you guys can learn a bunch more stuff. So, simple. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to jump into it. Um, um, sorry about that, guys. If that was a bit loud. Ugh, God. Computers falling to pieces. <laughs> But well, anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these two shapes real quick and um, go over it again. So the first shape that I'm going to do is the star shape. And what you do is you go to the shape tool and you go to the star tool. And if you guys don't have these lines, like I said in the last tutorial, come down to here. Choose grid or guide option and turn on title and action safe. And um, sorry about that. <laughs> didn't mean to click that. But what you want to do is you want to just come into your composition, click hold shift and um, just drag out and you'll get a star shape now if you come to your selection tool click and drag and then center it as so it's uh, nice and easy and um, if you guys didn't get this little pop down menu open it up and go to polystar 1 since that's what it's called go to polystar path and um, here's what we are going to edit here. now to get the badge effect I do I think it was 24 in the example and you'll get this and you put 24 points by the way sorry about that and you'll get this effect and uh, sorry guys if that keeps popping up um yeah that's kind of annoying <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> but um yeah so you've got this uh, shape now and what we're going to do is if we go to our outer radius and turn that down and then go to our inner radius and turn that up as you can see, we've got our star shape, and um, it's really simple. You can mess around with the uh, outer and inner radius to uh, get the shape of your desire, and um, it's pretty much up to you, and you can be creative with it. And I see most of these in motion motion graphics and uh, like typography, but I've also used these in my uh, Artex intro for his uh, intro contest. But anyways, now let's jump into the dashed line. So, as you can see, you can do this with any shape, but I'm just going to do this with an ellipse or a circle, as some people know it. And I'm just going to do the same, click and drag, and um, sorry if this gets a bit confusing because it's overlapped, I'll just uh, move this out here so it's a little bit more clear. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to into our ellipse, so into our drop down menu again. But this time we're going to go into our fill, turn the opacity down come back out with this go into our stroke and I'm gonna turn this to a light red and you can do this any color but that's pretty much the color of your stroke as you can see up here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the stroke width to about three which I had um, in my video and as you can see it's a nice circle there and in our stroke options as you can see we've got a dashes option and if we click the plus we've got some dashes and if you want it like this um, keep it like that but if you want to make them bigger or smaller you would have a dash option right there and you can do this and you can make them bigger or smaller and if you don't have these dashes option um, you can click the arrow and you'll get this the uh, option here and if you want to animate this like I do in my intros and it's spinning around um, you can keyframe the offset come forward and uh, keyframe it around and as you can see it spins around Oh, simple so anyways guys that is the tutorial and um, sorry it was a uh, sorry it was a bit of a bad one today um, it's, 
uh, I, I tried to keep it simple because people were asking for quick simple tutorials and um, anyways I hope you guys liked it and don't forget to like and favorite so more and more people can um, come onto the video and don't forget to share it with your friends as well so um, that's it and one more thing before I go um, please 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 remember to comment with what you want to see next and PM me if you uh, if you want to learn anything over Skype as well so yep thanks for watching and I'll uh...